else have we got in here? Why don't I scroll up a little bit? Thoughts on the mysterious Mr. Enter Chrono? I am so happy that you asked that, because a lot of people have been asking me that recently. Um, and I decided to look into this guy. I decided to look into the... I decided to look into the mysterious Mr. Enter and actually watch his stuff. Partially because somebody had sent me a video. Uh, uh, the video was... The video's title stated that it was me blasting Mr. fucking Enter. And it was audio from one of my other streams when somebody was asking if uh, Asa could do a fucking RAR on him. And I just said that I hadn't... That I hadn't watched his stuff, but it's just him essentially whinging on about fucking cartoons you know i really i i really didn't blast him i didn't really attack him i didn't know much about him so i sat down i started watching some of his videos uh very very few of his videos because they're very difficult to to sit through without you know falling asleep the man is incredibly dull so then i started watching some commentaries on him that that were done by various people uh and that's when you really start to see the problems. First of all, guys, um, I am not. I am not about to go after Mister Mister Enter for having fucking viewpoints which are different from mine. That honestly is one thing a lot of people do whenever they go after a critic, and that's really a stupid thing to fucking do. I am going to go after what he says and how he says it because Mister Enter is quite possibly one of the worst critics on the internet. Allow me to explain. So, I uh, was watching his review of The Brothers and Grunt. For those of you who don't know, The Brothers Grunt was a show that aired on MTV in the, I believe it was the mid-90s. It was uh, basically one of their attempts to come up with a new animated show after or during Beavis and Beavis and Butthead's run to try to, you know, get more fucking viewers in. And, oh boy... Not only does he claim that the show is a ripoff of Ren and Stimpy for no other reason than the fact that it's a gross-out show, I did not know that just sharing a genre automatically made something a ripoff. That, that right there alone, fucking floored it, floored floored me. Guys, allow me, allow me to put, allow me to put it this way. I can see it as being totally justifiable to take shows like Cow and Chicken or Schnookums and Meat and say that those were ripoffs of Ren and Stimpy because they also copied a lot of the formula from Ren and Stimpy. The, and the brothers grunt, the only thing that it has in common with Ren and Stimpy besides airing on a Viacom-owned channel is the fact that they were both gross-out shows. There's nothing else that they have in fucking common. Now, b now, b now, besides that idiotic thing, Mr. Enter also in that video shows exactly how flaky he is. Because at one point, I swear to God, he says that everything that everything you see in the first episode... I should mention that episodes of the Brothers Grunt are only about four, maybe five minutes, because they had to throw in music fucking videos between every, like, segment, let's call them. Um... So he first says that they have that they have that they barely have enough content to fill the four minutes, and then he complains because they could have taken uh, the story of the first episode and stretched it out to like three, maybe four episodes. So which one is it, there, douche? Is it either now? Is it either that there is not fucking enough content there to fill to fill for four minutes? Or is there, or is there enough content that it could have been stretched out to three segments? Which one is it, you flaky waffling prick? Now, mind you, guys, the show. Now the now the show itself. I'm just going to talk about the brothers grunt here for a minute. The show the show does certainly suck. It is probably the worst thing that Danny fucking Antonucci's ever put out. It is, it is absolutely mindless, brainless, brainless trash. However, though, instead of focusing on all of that, Mr. Mr. Fucking Enter's re re review basically boiled down to it is a fucking gross-out show and it sucks because it's gross. Motherfucker, if you are really going to complain about something, complaining about something because it's because it's part of the genre it it actually announces itself to be part of, that is not a fucking complaint. That honestly, guys, would be like me going that now that guys would be like if I went and said that say High School of the Dead is shit because it has zombies in it. Well, no shit, it has zombies in it. Yeah, <laughs> to bitch because a because a gross out show is gross is nothing short of disturbing and stupid. Now another problem with 
another problem with Mr. Enter, and this is a problem with which I, which I have with a whole lot of critics, uh, at least, I should say, internet critics, is instead of spending time actually sitting down and attempting to analyze what's there, he basically just, he basically just sums up and spoils the entire fucking episode and doesn't really give anything outside of, oh, you know, it's fucking gross. Oh, you know, the, oh, you know, the mouth movements don't match. And he doesn't really go into detail. He just basically, like, he basically just, like, snarks about it because he can fucking snark about it. Um, so, I did get around to watching a few other videos besides his, besides his brother's grunt video, even though I should probably have stopped at that one. Uh, another, another thing I've noticed with, Another thing I've noticed with Mr. Enter is he has this habit of talking to his viewers as if they're five years old. I swear to God, guys, every single time that this pompous, arrogant douchebag starts just going off, starts going off on shit, he begins to talk to his viewers as if they are children. I'm going to tell you guys right now, one thing I've always prided, prided myself on when it comes to being on the internet is... I don't talk at you guys. I don't talk down to you guys. I talk to you guys. Just straight up. I I will I will tell you guys exactly how exactly how I feel that something is and I am not about to fucking sugar sugar fucking coat it, okay? I am not going to sugarcoat what I say. I'm not going to talk down to you like your fucking child, but that is exactly what Mr. Enter does every single fucking video. Holy shit, Guri, dude! I, I'm so happy to see you here. Cause um, if I'm not mistaken, I started, I started, I started looking into Mr. Enter because I stumbled onto one of your, you know, videos. Honest to God, man. <laughs> and that also is because somebody had linked me to a joke fucking commentary you did on me, uh, which was for your Dark Emo Mario 60, 64 character. Which, by the way, it is thanks to that video I, I actually, dude, am now subbed, you know, to you. That there, now that there is some funny, funny shit. Anyway, going back on to Mr. Enter and all of his feculent mountains of failure. Oh, sweet Jesus. So, not only does he talk to the viewers as if they are five years old, but he apparently believes that everything has to have a moral. He will bitch about the moral in a fucking show if it doesn't match the moral that he would have put on the show. Allow me guys to explain. I found this commentary. It was from some fucking brony who was bitching because Mr. Enter covered an episode of my fucking little, you know, pony, which apparently he does a lot of those. And the episode had something to do with, uh, what's her face? Uh, fuck Fluttershy. Uh, trying to become a little bit more fucking, you know, assertive. And she goes too far and all this other shit. And the moral of and the moral of the show is you should totally stand up. You should totally stand up for stand up for stand up for yourself, but there also is a time and a place for it. That right there is sort of the moral the episode was giving. And Mr. Enter thought that that was a shitty moral because Fluttershy doesn't get any kind of punishment for going too far outside of almost losing her friends, apparently. I don't fucking know. I do not watch the goddamn show. The only thing I know is from what I saw in that episode, which was, by itself, kind of shit. And he does this a lot, guys. Mr. Enter will look for fucking morals everywhere. Even, even guys, on shows that don't even claim to have morals. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now. As, as much as much as I've watched of Teen Titans Go, that show almost never has a proper moral because it's not shooting for a moral. It, it basically is a show about just fucking around and just sort of having fun. And Mr. Enter bitches because, because they do joke, joke morals about how reading can be dangerous and all this other fun shit. You know, and he whines about this shit. Why? Because apparently Mr. Enter thinks that all cartoons are for kids. I have heard other people talk about his fucking, about his fucking reviews of like the drawn fucking together movie amongst other things. And you know, I am probably not, I'm probably not going to watch those because watching the four or five videos of his I watched and then watching the seven or eight commentaries on them I've watched I think I've seen everything that I have that I need to see allow me guys to just sum it up this way 
Let me guys to sum it up this way. Mr. Enter. Mr. Enter does not know how to take criticism, like, at all. And you can kind of see why. Because he announced in a video that he believes that bullies and trolls, cyberbullies and trolls, are the same fucking thing. Which, anybody with half a brain will tell you, no, they fucking aren't. <laughs> Cyber, okay, trolls are just basically looking to fuck around with people. And they aren't doing it out of malice, they're just doing it because they're fucking bored. A cyber bully will target someone and will continue to hassle them and harass them. Guys, it really, guys, it really guys has to do with, like the level to which you do your thing. If you honestly are just going to leave like a comment here, a comment there, then you're a fucking troll. Whoopee. But if you're going to constantly go after the same person doing the same things again and again, good job. You are now officially a cyber bully because you're targeting. And targeting is usually the big difference. Okay. Uh, oh, there is one other video of his I kind of feel like commenting on because, uh, he took, he, because he took the time to make an entire episode, and instead of actually covering the show in question, he basically used it as a means to whine and bitch at his viewers. And it's fucking awful. Alright, first of all, he was covering an episode of some show called The Rocket Monkeys, I guess it was called? I don't fucking know. I've never, i never heard of the show until I saw that, that episode. Instead of actually focusing on the episode itself, it's Mr. Enter whining because he doesn't like to take fucking re-re-requests. And the whole thing, the whole thing is him whining and bitching about requests. And why covering this show is exceptionally stupid, especially this one episode. Apparently everyone wanted him to cover this one episode. Because... Every single point that he makes in that episode, he's made in other in other episodes of his show. It's fucking stupid. Guys, if you are really going to take the time and just complain about this shit, then you make a separate video about it, okay? You make a separate fucking video about it discussing your viewpoints. You do not... You do not take time and waste everyone else's time with a part of your proper series. Guys, I want you to just imagine... If I did an episode of Reaction and Review, uh, where I took a movie like, say, Jarhead, all right, let, let's just fucking say I did one on Jarhead, and instead of focusing on the film itself, I used the whole time to talk about my views on 9-11 and the war on fucking terror, it would be fucking stupid, wouldn't it? It, it would be totally fucking stupid. And you know what, that is exactly what he fucking did, is he basically took... He, he basically took his episode, he pissed all over his fucking viewership, all because they were doing one little thing that he didn't fucking like, and it wound up going completely against the point of his show, which was to review a goddamn car, car, fucking cartoon. That, that was it. And I don't want to hear that, and I don't want to hear that he's a fucking, you know, Aspie, I don't want to hear, no, no, no. The moment that you come on YouTube, the moment that you start making content for YouTube, you need to learn to start taking criticism you need to start acting like a fucking adult and mr enter does neither mr mr fucking enter is i swear to god he is probably the worst goddamn critic out there and i see people in the uh, chat here who are comparing him to dark side phil motherfucker i think i would rather watch dark side dark side phil for three hours than watch another second of mr of of mr enter's bullshit okay and mind you uh jim uh mr it was mr fucking mediker he actually did a stream where he was mocking dark side phil as he was playing star wars battlefront that video even with even with jim's jim's commentary is kind of boring because that's how bad dsp is i would rather watch that again than watch anything else from mr enter that was fucking terrible